welcome back to my channel and another vlog. If you saw the title of this video, this is gonna be my decorate with me for Ramadan. I am so, so, so excited. You guys, Ramadan is right around the corner and I swear every single year it creeps up on me, but I'm getting a head start this year and I'm starting earlier than the previous years. I'm gonna go ahead and get my decorations done today. And I think there's, um, from the day I'm making th this video, there's I think 20 days left until Ramadan when I upload it. I'm not sure how many days it's gonna be because I may be uploading it at the end of this week. Um, today's Monday. So that's the plan, inshallah. And I wanted to kind of put it out early so you guys can get some ideas from my decor pieces and get your stuff ordered so it can come in time. So I'm happy that I'm getting a head start on it this year. I love decorating for Ramadan so much every single year because it just like gets me in the mood and it honestly like, uplifts my mood, makes me so happy. Ramadan is just a special, special time. And I just wanted to wish you all a happy Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak. I know it's not Ramadan quite yet, but but um, it's gonna be here before we know it. Like, I promise you guys, we're gonna blink and it's gonna be Ramadan. So, it happens every year. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's gonna be a really, really fun one. I've been playing this out for a while. I got some things sent over to me from brands, some I bought, some from last year. So, we're just gonna mix it all. And hopefully, this year's will be the best one yet. So, I just got ready, just did my makeup, put a little bit of gloss on. I'm excited because Malik is gonna be two. Um, he's actually turning two in a few days. He's understanding so much more than he was last year. Obviously last year he was only a year old. He had just turned a year and so he didn't really understand like what, during Ramadan obviously like even when I was decorating but like this year like he's already seen some of the pieces and he like under like he wants to like play with them and like get involved in it. So I'm really excited to involve him this year. I'm planning to do like a calendar for him, a countdown calendar where he can kind of open it up uh, which I'll show you guys uh, each day and kind of look inside and get a new gift or a toy each day. It's going to be so much fun. But before we get right into the rest of the video, I have something so exciting I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm so excited to be working with Dossier again. You guys may have seen them in my past videos i've been using their perfumes for almost like i don't know three years now four years now and i've got two new ones that i'm so excited to try out so if you're unfamiliar with dossier it's a fragrance brand and they make luxury perfumes at a fraction of the cost so i picked up this one it's ambery saffron and it's inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 if you guys know what i'm talking about let me get the bottle out i'm so excited to smell this so this is the bottle. The top notes are saffron, orange blossom, middle notes are jasmine, plum, cedarwood, and then the base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber, which sounds delicious, honestly. I really love this so much because the Baccarat Rouge perfume is so expensive. Wow, that I, that smells almost identical to Baccarat Rouge. You guys, if you are obsessed with Baccarat Rouge, there's so many girls out there that are obsessed with that fragrance. You guys need to try this one out. Okay, Baccarat Rouge is like 300 plus dollars, depending on what size you get, and this one is 49. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on myself. I am not even kidding when I say this smells almost identical. And then I picked up another perfume. This one is inspired by YSL uh, Libre, which is one of my favorites as well. And this is called Floral Lavender. I mean, I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore. I've, I literally own so many Dossier perfumes. And every time I get one, I'm like, there's no way it's going to smell like identical, but... Nope, they get me every time. This smells literally almost identical to it. People are always like, oh my gosh, are you wearing so-and-so perfume? And I'm like, nope, actually it's Dossier and it's a fraction of the price of that one. Make sure to check them out. I'm going to leave the website in the description box down below with my coupon code that will get you 10% off. I just know you guys are going to love these, so make sure to check them out. Now I smell yummy and I'm ready to change into my outfit and get started on my Ramadan decorations. I'm so excited. And you guys, this is my outfit for today. This is a Moroccan Kiftan. I'll put the name down below if you guys want to check it out, but let's go ahead and put this on so we can get started. I am so excited. I love every year getting to decorate for Ramadan. It just makes me so happy and it really just like uploads my mood and gets me ready for Ramadan. So I have a bunch of stuff here next to me that uh, some are from last year and some I recently purchased. I'm going to show you guys everything I got. These will, of course, all be linked in my description box down below if you guys want to shop them. I'm going to try to get this video out um, sooner than in the past few years, just so in case you guys want to shop them, you 
can get these pieces in before Ramadan starts and kind of decorate and do your own thing as well. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here. I do so many vlogs during Ramadan. If you guys want to keep up with those and watch them, then make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'm going to be posting a lot this Ramadan, inshallah. So it's going to be a fun ride over here. I'm also planning to do another little prayer corner this year, which I don't think I'm going to do in this video. I think I'll include that in like a separate video. And I'm also going to be doing something for Matic in his room to kind of involve him this year because he's going to be turning two this week actually inshallah it's in like two days which is so crazy to me but he's going to be understanding it a lot more this year so i'm really excited about that but you guys look at this beautiful abaya set i got in from d sally fashion boutique i'll tag them down below if you guys want to check them out this is so beautiful i believe this exact one comes in a few different colors as well if you guys want to check her out this would be so cute for like if thought parties or honestly, I eat like I could see myself wearing this today. It is so pretty, but I'm gonna be wearing it for this video today. And if you guys want to check her out, make sure to do so. Now let's get into all this stuff, which obviously I'm gonna decorate with today. But I got some candlesticks because I really wanted to use them on my dining table this year. And then these are just the little candles that go on top of them. And these are like they're like different heights. So I think it's gonna be really pretty. And then this cute little thing, I was actually thinking of putting it on Maddox's table because we just got him like a new table. He's not even using his dye chair anymore because he outgrew it. Um, but I feel like this would be cute. It also lights up at the bottom. Let's see if I can turn it on for you guys. So cute. I got a new Ramadan banner that you guys are going to love. And then this is, this is for my door wreath. I've never decorated my like front door for Ramadan, like I put a wreath on it, but I'm going to do it this year and I think it's going to be really pretty. But some things for my table. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it because I feel like you can't, you guys can't really get a good look until I actually like set it out. I got these moon and star lights that I know are going to be so pretty. I'm going to put them on my fireplace. They're huge. I didn't not realize they're going to be this big. But we're going to make it work. We're going to see how we're going to do it. And then you guys, if you missed it, I've already shared it on my Instagram and my TikTok. But I got this new Adan frame from Masjid Al. You guys need to check them out. Um, I have a discount code, but it expires this Thursday. And I don't believe this video is going to be posted by then. I'm going to see if maybe they can extend it a little bit for you guys. Um, but I'll put my discount code on the screen here. Try it out. See if it works. Um, if not, it's still like so worth it and um, so it you know it tells you your all your prayers um it tells me the is in two hours and 19 minutes gives you dua of the day the then goes off every prayer which has been so nice to listen to and it plays good on you can play it even when you're not home so it's just really really nice to have in your home um just to always be reminded of allah I love it. You guys will love it too. Make sure to check them out. Okay, I am slowly realizing I have way too much stuff. Half of these were sent over to me from brands, some from last year, and then some are new. But let's just go ahead and get started. I feel really overwhelmed right now. I'm just staring at a lot of stuff that needs to get done. Okay, first things first. I don't know why. Let's start with my fireplace. So let's go ahead and start decorating it. my mantle. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we're going to figure it out together. I wanted to show you guys my new Ramadan banner. I got so this one says Ramadan and then I have another one that says Mubarak on it so I was thinking of definitely putting it on my fireplace so let's go ahead and do that I need like an assistant I need like someone helping me <laughs> so Mustafa he's actually off work today but Maddox's sick he's had a fever the past few days so he's he took him to the doctor that's where they're at right now poor baby so hopefully he'll be back soon and then he can help me out. <laughs> Does that look good? That is so cute. Uh, no, that looks so cute. I love that. Okay. Ooh, I'm already like out of breath. Okay, but this one's this one. What do we think of that? Does that look so cute or what? Really, really love that. That is so cute. I think it also comes in white letters if you guys want the white letters, but I really like the black. Okay, now let's figure out these little lights. No. What did I do wrong? I'm getting 
fry. I don't know what to do. Five years later. Hey, you guys. Hi, Mommy. Okay, guys, I figured the lights out. Mama. Hi, Mommy. Do you like my lights? Yeah. Yeah? My gosh, this took me forever. That looks so pretty. Also, it came with a remote, which is nice. Let me show you guys. Turn it on. There's like eight different modes. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. If you just want to keep them on. It took me forever to like un. Uh, tie them they were like all tangled up in there but wow it was really worth it that is gorgeous i love that yay let me know what you guys think of this i am really really obsessed with that that is so pretty okay and then last thing i do want to add up there is this quran i got sent over to me from quran in kahwa it's actually an english translated quran which i think i'm gonna be reading this ramadan this upcoming ramadan i can read the quran in arabic but some words are a little bit difficult for me to understand and i can just read it a lot faster um in english so and it's like so beautiful so let's get that put up there I'm thinking just like right in the middle right here. Perfect timing. How pretty is that? <gasps> no! Final product. I am obsessed. I think this might be my favorite fireplace de a Ramadan decoration yet. I love that so much. We're going to have to have it twinkling. I like when it's the lights are twinkling like that. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay, let's move on and style this um, table. Um, it's my entrance table, so when you walk in, this is like the first thing that you see. I just bought this, actually. I was just testing it out and thinking it would look good over here. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to put it over here. So, I think we should get rid of this stuff. So I got a lot of decor pieces that we could use for it. I actually put these little moss over here last year, too. And they look really pretty, so I think I'm just going to... Do that same thing. These here. Does that look good if I put that like right there? I think that's all I'm gonna do over here, you guys. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. Okay, nice and easy over here. Um, I didn't do anything too major. We'll see if I add on to it. I don't know if I will, but so far I'm, I'm liking it this way, so I'm gonna keep it this way for now. Oh, this one's kind of going out. I just need to replace it. Get a little bit closer on the alhamdulillah sign. I actually found this and they come in different things. Like some of them say mashallah, some of them say bismillah. Um, and they come in different colors if you are interested. Of course, these will all be linked down below. Okay, now let's move on to my dining table. I don't know why, but every time I film here, it's so dark. I think it's because this huge window is right here. Um, but we're going to try to work with it. Hopefully, I can like edit it and make it brighter for you guys. But this is what we're... I just emptied it completely. And I have a vision. I don't know how it's going to turn out. So let's see. Okay, I really wanted to do like some type of color this year. So I thought sage green would be pretty. So this is going to be for like the middle liner. Looking pretty so far. Just going to bunch these up. I have these two gorgeous like moon um, candle sticks that I think I'm going to put in the center. Like, these are the beautiful candle sticks that I'm going to put right in the center. I think I'm going to put them right next to each other. Okay, I moved you guys to that side. I hope you guys can see a little bit better, but I have these like tall ones as well which i was going to taper because they come in different sizes how do i want to do this i think i'm going to do short and then tall and then tallest one over here i think that's how i want to do it oh my god I did not buy enough candlesticks. So annoying. I don't know what I was thinking. I 
Okay, I just broke one of them in half. It'll be okay. Smart thing, and I just cut two of them in half and it worked out good because honestly they're really long like the end ones are really long but that looks cute oh my god that looks actually so cute hang on let me show you guys okay how pretty is that obviously it's gonna look so much prettier with everything lit but that is so pretty <laughs> okay and then i bought like little placemats for this year i think it'll be really pretty under the plates we're just gonna go all out this year, okay? And then look at these. These are like for the plates and they say Bismillah on them. I thought that was so cute to put on like each plate. I'm gonna have to host a lot this year. We're gonna have to do it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and set the table. I have, like we're setting the table. Pretty. I bought these like linen napkins that I thought would look really cute on the plate. So we're just gonna keep them kind of folded like that actually. And just put them like right here. So I'm gonna take the napkin, fold it, and I'm just gonna place it kind of on the edge like that. Okay, and then our little bismillah. It's wooden and you have to be kind of careful because they're really fragile. But put that right. Right there. That is so cute. Oh my god, I love that. I really, really love that. Not to be dramatic, but that is so cute. <laughs> okay, I have to host people this Ramadan because that is adorable. I'm really, really obsessed with that. That is so cute. Who knew setting your table for Ramadan would be so fun? I still have silverware I need to put, and then I have these cute little cups in my cabinet. Let's just build on the aesthetic and add these to it. Okay, I'm just gonna add these almost done last thing i want to add is this gold silverware i bought these because i don't have any gold silverware and i thought and i thought they were so beautiful it would add a special touch so let's go ahead and do that we have like so many forks we have a big fork and a little fork and do like that and then and then we have a knife a big spoon a little spoon. Did I do this right? Is there any specific way you're, you should do this? I should put the knife on the outside. I'm no expert, so if I did that wrong, don't mind that. Okay, I just looked up a different picture and we're gonna do it like okay. So they did knife, big spoon, little spoon, big fork, and little fork. This is too fancy for me. Big spoon, little spoon, and then knife. Big fork, little fork. Okay, you guys, what do we think of this? I think that is so beautiful. I love that so much. That took me a long time to do, but it was worth it because look how pretty that is. It's going to look even prettier when it's like all lit up it's gonna look so pretty i love that so much guys i just lit them and they look so pretty i wanted to show you guys how they look like when they're lit and this is what they look like up close it looks so pretty it turned out gorgeous also one thing i added that i didn't get to show you guys is these little lanterns that i had from last year i put them in between my candles and they look really pretty so that was one thing i ended up adding which i think really completed it it makes it look so pretty and matic is over here Trying to blow out my candles. <laughs> you want to blow one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you did it! Good job. <laughs> he really wanted to blow one, so I'm gonna let him. You blow all of them, actually. Thank you. That's so nice of you to do that for me. Okay, you guys, I'm almost done. I'm so exhausted. Well, a few more things, and we'll be all done. I, we recently got this for Matic. It's like a little table and chairs. See, I grew his high chair, and I thought this would look cute on it. So cute! <laughs> Matic can have a little touch of Ramadan as well when he sits down and eats. So cute. What I wanted to share is this Ramadan calendar, and this one is from Aid Gallery. It is so pretty. I think I have a discount code. I'll put it on the screen here if you guys want to check it out. This is for Matic. So each day, 
you know, it's numbered 1 through 30, 30 days of Ramadan. Um, and so each day to involve him, I'm going to put like a little card, toys, candy, things like that in it. And he's already super excited about it. Here, step over here so you can see. So this way I can involve him a little bit more in it. And he can open it up and get it out every day. Are you excited for this? Yeah. Yeah? I'll open it. You want to open it? Okay, open one. There's nothing in there right now, but I'm going to put it. I'm going to put some of your favorite things in there. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? See? Okay, move to the side. Let them see. You guys, make sure to check this out. It is so cute. And if you want to involve your kiddos this Ramadan, this would be the perfect way to do so. Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah? What do you want me to buy for you to put in there? Yeah. What would you like for me to buy? Yeah. yeah. What? Tell me. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's work on the kitchen. I don't know if I'm going to add too much back here. Um, I have this little moon dome jar for my dates that I think I'm just going to put right here. And then I have this little cute sign from last year. It says the Zidane family at Ramadan Mubarak on it. And... Is that cute? I don't know. Is that cute? It's actually cute. Okay, I'll put that there. Okay, and then this is the main show, which I don't have a space for it. I'm just probably just gonna have to take up. Probably just gonna have to take up this room right here. Just keep it on that side. Okay, I didn't do too much back here. It's already kind of decorated, so. We'll just keep it like that. And then surprise, we're redecorating our living room. So you guys get a little sneak peek of our new TV stand, which we just got and I love it. But I thought I could add this little garland to it. That would look pretty. Oh, it looks pretty. I think that looks good. Okay, we'll see what Mustafa thinks, but I, I like that. I think that's really cute. Right next to my little twinkling lights in the corner. How pretty, that's so cute. Last thing is this little wreath. Add it to the middle. It's so small. I don't like that. It's small, but I think that looks really cute. I don't want people from the street to be able to read it. It's crazy people. Okay, I think I like that. What do you guys think? You like that read? small but it's cute and then i also have this moon and star tray i got last year so i was thinking i could um use that again this year and i could put like dates nuts really anything you want here if you have like guests coming or you're serving people this would be so cute to serve them on you can just kind of keep it on your counter and like i said you can just fill it with whatever you want so i really like that all right you guys well i think i finished decorating my entire house i really hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet um let me know your thoughts down below and make sure to check out all the links down below everything that i used will be linked in the description box come here mama and here is mr malik he's sick poor guy but he's loving my little lights malik what do we think of the lights do you yeah. like them you love the lights? That's the mine board. It's your remote? Yeah. Why not touch that remote? Okay. <laughs> and he wants the remote. Okay. Say bye bye, everyone. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.